Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial video. And uh, I've been doing a lot of space art lately and I wanna show you how to make this image right here. This is a picture of a planet uh, with some really cool rings going around it in a deep space type of uh, space art background here. I wanna show you how to make this one. And uh, I've actually been doing a lot of uh, space art lately. I just worked on a tutorial series uh, where I made all of these uh, projects here. There's 12 projects. Uh, each one uh, is uh, very in in depth, detailed, show you how to do each step of these. Almost all of these are from scratch. Um, just show you how to paint these in Photoshop. It's called the Ultimate Guide to Space Art. You can check it out in the link below. Uh, in the description below, and then you can check out more information about that. But it's 12 different videos and 12 different PSD files that you have access to. So I'm just going to show you one of these today. It's kind of like a little teaser for my video. So I just want to show you one of these videos. It's going to be this planet with the rings going around it. And I want to show you how to make this essentially from scratch. Uh, but when you download the tutorial package, um, I've actually got some brushes for you as well. And so um, I've got about 15 uh, space brushes that you're welcome to use. For example, I've got one that's, or a, a couple of them that are just star fields. You just click it once and you've automatically uh, got some stars in your background. But I've also got some nebula brushes as well. So you could, you could download those uh, nebula brushes and then just automatically start painting uh, some nice little nebula here in the sky having your nice little space scene. They're already uh, have the presets on them, so they're randomized and they, they look really cool here. I've got some star um, star brushes in here. So if you just wanna add of just a few little stars here and there, uh, this is really easy to do, really fun to do. Uh, but so many different brushes, you can, you can use these for your own projects and uh, they are included with this ultimate space art guide. And uh, again, I'll show you how to do each one of those 12. But that's not why you're here on this video today. You want to see how to make this planet with rings. And so let me go ahead and show you that. I'm just gonna roll into one of these clips uh, from the tutorial package. Watch it, enjoy it. And uh, I can't wait to see what you guys can create after watching this. But that's all I got for today. Enjoy this video and check out that tutorial package if you're interested. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into our next project. For this one, we're going to be doing uh, some rings that are going around a planet. So imagine the planet Saturn and you're viewing it from a distance. And so that's what we want to do. So let's just go ahead and create a, um, a new planet. This doesn't have to be Saturn, but, you know, it's going to be a planet with rings on it. And uh, so I've already got my background same as always, nice dark background with some white stars. Um, and then we're going to just make a new circle on a new layer, fill it to any color you want. And then I'm just going to go to um, Unsplash and try to figure out um, if we can find some cool little pictures here. And so this picture right here, I think, looks pretty good. So let's start with this one. This is, again, off of Unsplash. Let's just bring that in here, add it right over top of your uh, circle. Make sure it fits that circle completely. And what we want to do is control click your circle and then go to filter, distort, spherize, click OK. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do a layer mask on that. So now it's a nice little circle and just apply that layer mask. Uh, and there you go. You've got a nice little uh, planet right here. And um, we don't have to just use that one, though. We can add some other textures as well. So I'm just going to go to um, Unsplash again, just look for some stone or rock textures. Let's search rock textures. I'll include these in the package as well, but you can just go to Unsplash and find them. Oh, that one looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna try this one. Download it real quick, and we'll bring it right into our project. Here we go. That looks really cool. I like this little, I like these colors. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and bring this in. Again, you just want to uh, size it down so it fits inside of your uh, planet. You could actually, we could scrunch it if you want to, just kind of like that. Control click your circle, and then let's do um, spherize. And let's spherize it again. That looks fine. And then we want to oops, put a layer mask on it and then apply that layer mask. And now we have two textures here. So let's try some uh, blend modes here. I'm not sure which blend mode is going to work the best. Um, overlay is usually a good one, but that adds a lot of contrast to doing that. Pin light. We've tried pin light before. 
and it looks pretty interesting. So that one looks uh, it's pretty interesting right there. Let's try let's try a pin light with that one with it inverted and let's duplicate it and let's invert it back to the way it was. That's how it used to look. And let's do like a multiply. But then we'll layer mask out the left side. So that looks that looks kind of interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you would want to live on a planet like this, but that looks somewhat interesting there. And uh, let's just go ahead and play around with the colors as well. So let's put all of these into our planet texture. And we'll do a hue and saturation. Colorize. And let's try like lighten. Something like that. Yeah. Whatever you want to try around with your colors, I mean, it's up to you, but something like that. It's not too bad. And let's go ahead and add a nice little shadow on the back side. So I'm just going to get a nice black brush. Just paint a nice little dark shadow back here. Not even changing it to multiply, just kind of sampling that color in the background. <clears throat> and getting just a nice little shadow on the back. And there you go. And we probably should add a little um, highlight on the front side. So let's get a white. <clears throat> and we'll just paint a little bit of white right on the edge of this planet. So it's like it's kind of facing the sun. So it's nice and bright on this side like that. And we've already done a planet before. So you kind of know what we're doing. But just something kind of like that. And let's do one more. And we'll do like a... Um, Let's get like a nice little yellowish orange color. Change it to overlay, but make sure it's nice and bright. There we go. Now it's really bright on this edge. It's up to you what colors you want to do and all that stuff, but this is just a simple way to do that. Hey, we didn't do the divide blend mode, so that's, you know, that's, that's good, right? We haven't, we haven't done that one yet. All right, so here's our planet. You can have any planet you want to. This tutorial is not about the planet. It's about how to make those rings go around it. But I'm going to put all of these into a group. We'll call it planet. Your planet can look like anything you want it to look like. And let's just kind of make sure it's right here in the center. That's good. All right. So now we want to have some rings going around this planet. And so um, there are multiple ways to do this. I found this way to be the easiest. Um, so you could do this. Let's get an let's get an eclipse uh, an ellipse tool over here on your left side, and then you could get like a, um, your stroke could be white, for example. Make sure your fill is at um, at nothing. It's not not being filled, and then you can change your you know stroke um, depth here to whatever you want. Then you just draw a little ring like that. So we've we've just Draw on a ring. And then what we want to do is you would want to, um, you could actually rasterize this if you want to. Just right click and rasterize it. Um, and you just want to squish it, right? We're just going to squish this thing. Squish this nice little oval like that. And kind of stick it where you want it to go. I'm thinking something kind of like that would be pretty good. And you just kind of stick it right there. And then all you do is you make a layer mask on it. Control click your... Um, your circle planet that we had earlier and then you want to while you have it selected go up here to your ellipse and just erase that and now you have you have rings right so that's that's one way to do rings um it's kind of boring that way but that is one way to do it now we could kind of move this thing around that's a little bit that's that probably looks a little bit better or it's kind of scrunched a little bit better but yeah there's there's a ring so you have a ring around a planet it's fine. It looks really boring, but you know how to do it. That's how you, that's the, that's the main concept is you make a circle and then you squish it and then you um, just erase out the back part of the planet and you have a ring. So with that strategy in mind, let's go ahead and make some rings. And what we want to do is we want to make some rings uh, looking from the top down um, and then we want to squish it into this nice little oval going around the planet. So what I want to do to create rings is I want to go back to that ellipse tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to change our color to actually we're going to change it to um, black. So let's change our color to black for the stroke. Um, and then we're going to change our stroke 
um, to about, I don't know, five pixels or so. And uh, let's see what this looks like. Very small. It's kind of hard to see what we're doing because we're using black. So let's just go ahead and fill our background to white. Oops. All right. And now let's try drawing that circle with a black uh, stroke here. Make sure it's a circle, so you want to hold shift on your keyboard, which is going to make it into a, a perfect circle, just like that. And, well, that's 62. That's too much. Let's try eight. Uh, let's try eight pixels here. Okay. That's not bad. I'm going to do just a little bit smaller. So let's do five pixels, just like that. There we go. There's our five pixel um, circle. All right, so that's the first part. What we want to do now is we want to control click this ellipse. You can rasterize it if you want, doesn't really matter. But you just want to control click your ellipse. So control click it, you got your marching ants around it. And we're gonna make this into a brush. So go to edit and define brush preset. And we'll just call this big circle, big circle. And now you have a brush that is a big circle. So if I had my brush on black, there you go. I can just draw little circles everywhere I want to. Now, how is this going to help us make a ring? Let me show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our brush settings here. We're going to go to our shape dynamics and we're going to change our size jitter all the way to 100%. That's, um, that's all you want to do for shape dynamics, but you also want to go to transfer we're going to change our opacity up to 100% and our flow up to 100%. And then what we're going to do is on this new layer is we're going to go to the very center or as close to the center as you can um, of the picture and just start clicking. So click once and then click again, click again, and just keep on clicking. I'm going to click probably like 100 times here. And you can see we're making bigger and smaller uh, rings are going all over the place. You see that? So it's randomizing the uh, the rings here, and it's making some very small. It's making some very big. Well, it's, it's making it as big as my brush is, which is like 2,400 is the max size it can be. So it's never going to get bigger than that, but it's going to go all the way down. It's going to go all the way up, and it's just going to randomize it. So I just clicked it about 50 or 60 times so far, and I'm going to stop right there. Okay, so... That, that is a first set setup that we have for rings here. So what we would do is we would take these rings, we'd probably invert it, make it white. So control I to invert it. So now they're white. Let's get rid of that um, white layer that we did. And then, <coughs> excuse me, we would do, um, we would take this circle and then we could scrunch it down uh, to our ring. So we would scrunch it like this and then we would maybe rotate it, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And then you would kind of stick it like this, like that, something like that. And then what you would want to do is you would need to control click your circle for your planet, and you would need to erase out this back part of the planet. Now there are some issues here because some of our rings are terribly, terribly small and it gets a little bit confusing down in here uh, how we're gonna be able to mask that out. So I wanted to show you this way actually wasn't too bad. So now you got some rings just like that. And those look a lot better than that ring we made at first, which is just one little band going around. Um, and so that's a basic idea right there. So um, that's one way to make rings. But what I want to do is I want to make the rings look a little bit more interesting than just this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and we're going to do this again. Let's do this again. Make sure you get your ring, your custom brush that you just made, your little circle rings here. Um, and we'll start off at black. Make sure your your brush settings are, your know, size one jitter, jitter is 100%. Make sure your transfer is up. And then we're going to start clicking it. Um, but we don't want to do, actually, we don't want to do our shape dynamics at 100. Let's do it at like 80 for now. And then what we want to do is we want to just click in the middle a few times. Oops, we're not on the right one. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. Let's just click in the middle a few times. Not going to do 50 or 60 times. We're just going to do kind of like that. 
Okay, so now if you study the the bands of like Saturn, though, you're going to notice that there's like different levels of bands here, and that some of these some of these uh, sections of rings are very uh, they're very solid, and then there's like a gap in between the the rings. And so we, what we want to do is we want to do that as well. And so I've already moved my mouse over, so it's hard for me to get right back in the center perfectly again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make another layer. That way I can center this one. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to make um, my size jitter, I want to have like a ring that's going um, about, let's, let's call it about 1500. We'll call it about 1500. I want there to be like a, a really uh, solid set of rings at about the 1500 mark. So if I did 1500 right here, and I just kept clicking, it would be nice and dark there, but I don't have my shape dynamics on, so it's just gonna be one line. So what we want to do is go to your shape dynamics and change your size jitter to about uh, about 15% or so. And then that way, it's only going to um, alternate your sizes just a little bit. So here, let's, let's go ahead and try this one. Now let's click it over and over. You can see it's only going out just a little bit. It's only just going out uh, that 15% jitter, which is going to make a really deep, dark ring right here in the middle. And about 30 or 40 times. There you go. You got a nice solid ring right there. It's not perfectly centered because it's hard to get in that perfect center. So we just want to go up to select all and then make sure you center that ring and go down here and center this ring as well. And now they're all centered together. Uh, that looks good. So let's make another layer. So let's do this one. I want to make it out to about the 2000 mark or so. Let's see. Nope, not 200, 2,000. All right, let's do about 2,100. There we go. I want it to be a nice little dark line out there as well. Make sure your size jitter is about 15% again, and you're on a new layer so we can center it in just a few minutes. And then we'll just start clicking again. Just start clicking. You're going to click quite a few times, and that's okay. Um, and it's going to make a nice dark ring right out here, closer to the edge of this ring system, something like that. There we go. And now let's do one more for the very the far one. So this is about 2,500. And let's make sure we put it on a new layer just because we need to, we're going to have to center all these things. And we'll do one more way out here at 2,500, like that. And you're going to have to click it quite a few times. This is a, where I use a mouse instead of a tablet or like a pen and tablet because the mouse helps me hold that one position perfectly. So we're going to click this thing like a hundred times, something like that. And let's make sure we're nice and centered like that. All right. Looking good. It also would not hurt to add some other colors as well. So if you wanted to add like a nice little yellowish brown, orangish color here, uh, we can bring this in here and just add some different colors. So let's try this one. It's easier to just go ahead and add these ring colors now than it is to add them later. Something like that. And let's change our color to like a a little bit more purplish color. We'll stick some purples out there. And let's make another layer. I keep making new layers because I know I can't get that centered, centered the way I want to. So I just want to make, I'll just go in and center each layer one at a time. Let's do it like that. Let's make another layer. It's got like more of a purple color. There you go. Let's make another layer. We'll go back out to 2500. And let's make this one more like another reddish orange color again. There we go. 
that's not bad. So uh, what we want to do is just go ahead and do select all and just make sure that you center each one of those layers that you made because you want to make sure that those, those circles are all going to be matched up. And I think they're all... Okay, I think they're all nice and centered now. And let's just go ahead and put all of those into one group or one layer. So merge all those layers together. And there are our rings. Um, so what we want to do is we want to be able to, you know, add this to our planet here. And so what there's two things that we can do. One is we can just go ahead and flatten it and then try to... Um, you know, move it into to shape and then mask it out. We could do that, or we could just go ahead and, um, you know, get a nice little circle tool here and just erase part of the middle, like this part right here, and then just hit delete. And now it's gone. And then that way it's going to be a little bit easier to mask out. So you can see, I just got our outer rings here. Um, so that's one, that's one way we can do it. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and squish this Let's squish it down like that. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And we're gonna squish it even more. Nice and squished. And we'll rotate it just a little bit, kind of like this. And see, now we have these this purple circle right here in the middle. It's going right around the planet. I don't have to worry about any awkward like masking or anything like that. We'll kind of stick it like this. Click your check mark. And that's not bad, that's not bad. So let's go down to our planet, control click that planet, and then you can erase. Make sure you got a, a good brush to do this. Erase these rings right up here on the top. There you go. And that's a nice little ring system we have here. If you don't like the colors, that's okay, because we can start you know, doing adjustment layers on these as well. So I could do a color balance on it. Maybe I want it to be you know, a little bit more cooler in color. You, know, you can play around with all these colors that you want. You can do levels adjustments on them. Whatever color, whatever color setup that you want, you know, that's that's up to you. And you can you can kind of think about your colors a little bit more, you know, as you're painting them. Let's do something like psychedelic, like nice little purple red colors like that. That looks pretty neat. Um but yeah, you want to, um, and if you ever want to move the the layer, the uh, the rings you, oh, with your layers, go ahead and click that check mark or that lock button there. And what that'll help you do is you can just kind of rotate this thing around, and it's going to keep that layer mask fixed. So just kind of move this around. Um, if you want to have it more like up and down, like that might actually be a little bit better. Like we're going from corner to corner, something like that. And then just make sure you go in and. Um, erase the part that needs to be erased and then bring back the parts that need to be brought back. But we're not very centered here, are we? It looks like our purple circle, purple circle is too much to the side. So let's move this over kind of like that. That's something kind of like that. That's not bad. Again, let's make sure we get these things masked out appropriately. All right, I think we're just about good here. Okay, we need to add a shadow to the back of it. Obviously the brightest part of this planet is on the right side and so it's casting a shadow. So on top of your rings here, just get one of these nice little black colors, get a, a, a brush that's very soft. And then what you want to do is just paint um, a nice little shadow that's going right here behind it. So I got my flow all the way down at 1% and I'm just painting black like right on it. It's gonna look almost exactly like the background. Like there's gonna be like, it's going to look exactly like the uh, the space behind it because it's just black. There's no light hitting it. So something kind of like that. There you go. Can't even tell where those rings are at because it's just black. Uh, but if that's the case, we've got to make sure that we get rid of some of those stars as well because, you know, the rings would block a little bit of the stars. So just keep that in mind uh, when you do that. 
So if that's the case, go to your ring, go to your rings and go right below your rings and just grab some of these blacks and just kind of just kind of paint some of these rings in so we're not seeing the stars. I mean, the rings are not perfectly, you know, you know, they're not 100% visible, so they wouldn't be blocking all the stars, but they'd be blocking some of them. So you can see it just do that to block them out a little bit. All right, so there, there's your star. I mean, there's your planet with some rings. That's that's a pretty uh, fun way to do that. Uh, but you can do this as many times as you want to. You can you can spend more time on those rings using your brush and just make a lot of these uh, these things a little bit more um, vibrant or make them a little bit more um, like a, more of a pattern. Uh, try to follow the rings of Saturn if you want to uh, to make them look a little bit cooler. Um, you can also add some glows to them. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Let me put all these rings into one layer. Okay, duplicate our rings here. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and, um, let's just go ahead and merge these into one group. Oh, let's take, let's make sure our, make sure our mask is off. Okay, so here is our rings right here. And then we could do like a blur, like a little Gaussian blur, kind of like that. And then you could even do, we can do our divide blend mode. I know we haven't done it in a while, but you could do divide or overlay or screen or lighten, uh, whatever you want to do. Let's try that. So that makes them very vibrant, man. So if we did that divide blend mode and made them very vibrant <laughs> like that, that looks kind of crazy. Or like a screen. Oh, that is that is some vibrant rings right there. But we're just using the same same rings and just you know adding some blurs and and stuff like that. Let's try that one more time and then let's like really blur it. So like seventy pixels. There we go. Now we're getting into some like really crazy stuff. Um, and so you can figure out you know what, um, you know, how, how much glow and stuff you want. And then whenever you're happy with it, you just put all of these new rings into one group, put a layer mask on it, and then you just click on your, your planet. And then you would just get rid of that. The reason that we, we didn't save the layer mask at first, cause we want that glow to, to go all the way around the back. Uh, and if you had the layer mask when you started doing these glows, it would just look a little bit off. So something kind of like that. Uh, one issue that we do see, though, might want to make a note of this, is that you can see where it's, um, when you have that divide blend mode, we did that divide blend mode in here, it's dividing on top of the, uh, the planet here. And so it's making the planet look really bright right here where the rings are going through. Um, and then maybe something that you don't want. Um, maybe it is something you want, I don't know. Um, but just keep that in mind. And then, um, of course, another thing you would want to do is you'd want to add that shadow back. So let's just, um, I don't know if the best way to do is that is add a multiply or probably, we probably just want to erase it. Let's just erase these glows here. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the best thing. It's just to erase the rings for your shadow, just like that. There you go. Instead of trying to add a multiply to a divide, which gets just a little bit kind of weird, um, let's just erase part of this right here. There you go. I think that, that looks pretty good. So now we're, we're casting our nice little shadow on there. So here's, you know, here's before just kind of basic rings here. And then here's adding those glows and stuff, um, you know, to each his own. You may, you may like it with or without, but um, I think that looks pretty good there. And then of course, at the very end, we can do some color grade. You know, we can, we can make this more like a, um, an icy little blue planet. If you wanted to do something like that, that looks pretty good. Or if you want to have like a nice little red planet, these little warm tones, you know, play around with your color grade. 
looks really cool. But guys, this is how you make this is how you make um, rings around a planet. It's really simple to use. Just make your own custom brush and just keep clicking away and uh, have fun with it. Add some other effects and glows and stuff like that. It's just uh, really fun to do. You can do it just a matter of minutes, so it's fun. Um, but have fun creating it. Can't wait to see what you guys can make with your own rings and uh, look forward to that. But guys, we've only got one more video left in this series, and I hope that you've enjoyed everything you've learned so far. But let's go ahead and go to that last video uh, whenever you're ready, and uh, we will be done with this uh, space art tutorial. I've had a lot of fun uh, teaching this. I hope that you've had a lot of fun learning. And uh, take a break, take a breather, and then when you're ready, we'll jump into that last video.